The industrialized production of white bread is considered one of America's greatest accomplishments. Bread lasted longer, it was available to more people, and it just tasted great. Here's how they did it. First, they took out all the vitamins and enzymes so it could stay on the shelves longer. Then they bleached it so it looked better. Then they artificially added in a few vitamins and wrote enriched on the packaging so that parents would buy it for their children. So nourishing. So eat your white bread. By the 1950s, doctors started noticing a link between white bread and the rise of diabetes and heart disease in America. Max Torres, a passionate businessman from Magdalena, New Mexico, didn't want to live in white bread nation. A recent convert to a healthy lifestyle, Max envisioned a world where he could improve the health of people around him, where everyone had access to natural, wholesome baked goods, the way nature intended. One day, Max discovered a small organic bakery in Glendale, California that would change his life forever. Run by a local doctor named George Johnstone, the bread here was made from 100% sprouted grains, contained absolutely no flour, and was rich in fiber and protein. It was unlike anything Max had ever seen or tasted. This bakery was called Food for Life, and in 1964 it was acquired by Max, who, together with his family, used hand-selected organic ingredients to bake some of the most amazing sprouted grain breads the world had ever seen. His recipe would become the basis for Ezekiel 4.9, one of the company's most celebrated creations. Today, Food for Life continues those traditions by proudly baking diabetic-friendly yeast, soy, and corn-free options, along with more than the 14 gluten-free products we've offered since 1972. Food for Life. For an active life. For a healthy life. For your life.